And I call it artistic intelligence, not artificial, because it wasn't artificial. That's Mary Travis, along with Randy Travis, and they're opening up more not just about his new song, Where That Came From, but also about country music and AI and what this song means. Luke Combs has a very specific response to that. There are time codes in the description section below if you want to jump ahead. For the ACM Awards last week, Taste of Country's Addison Hager talked to Randy and Mary about the song and the response to it and how he feels about it now that the public has sort of done its thing. Y'all don't assume that anyone, even Randy, thinks that we should welcome any and all forms of artificial intelligence into music and country music. It's not that simple. I think that this is such a pioneering thing that mm. has happened with Randy and he is here. There have been so many songs that have been AI that were pirated mm. uh, that didn't have the blessing of the artist. Mm. So your question is great. Mm. You know, if it, how, how do we know? Because it's so new. Yeah, but with so. Randy blessing it and being right there shoulder to shoulder with Kyle, mm. mixing it and mm. making it the song that it ended up being, that makes it okay or it should. Luke Combs' response is next, followed by Randy and Mary reacting to the song today. But how do you feel about where that comes from? Comment below. I'm going to admit that it's complicated and maybe too new to sort through entirely. We did a full video on fan response that I'll link to below and in the upper right hand corner. But the takeaway was, right now, most people agree that if the AI song or album builds off of an artist's heart, then it's probably okay. Luke kind of agrees. Harry is talking to Taste of Country Nights' Evan Paul. By the way, you can find the full interview in the description section and at the Taste of Country Nights On Demand podcast. I think that's the that's the best use case scenario for what it has the potential to do. Um, I think it, it it does open the door for you know some things that that wouldn't be used in the best way. But I think that is the best version of something that it could be used for. Um, I was super excited to hear that. Um, it, it sounds incredible. But yeah, it is. It is. I think uh, it's a razor's edge for sure. You know, now that I think about it, a Randy Travis and Luke Combs duet is suddenly possible. But he and Mary said another contemporary artist is first up on their wish list. Feel free to suggest someone below. I really like it when we can start a productive conversation. So please continue to be respectful. Randy had pretty mixed feelings when he heard his new song the first time. And he was very pensive, and then he smiled. It was this big sunshine smile, and then a tear came, and then he laughed, and then he was pensive again. I mean, he went through every emotion. So I wish that I knew what he was thinking or where he was with that, but I knew it meant so much to him to make music again. When you hear the song, do we still shed a tear, or is it smiles? You still shed a tear. Okay. Every time, it's still just, well, that's just really bittersweet. You know, it's it still is. a multitude of emotions in that. A bonus clip from that interview is next, and I'll end with that. Big thanks for watching and subscribing, and a big thanks if you're one of the thousands who've checked out merchandise at the new Taste of Country store. I've dropped a few items for fans of real country music below. I hope you dig them. With AI now being able to bring you back to life in song, who is someone you'd want to collaborate with? Ooh, there's a lot of those. That Miss Laney Wilson. I'm like, I can give you a whole list. I was going to say it would be so cool to hear mm. me and Laney. What a voice. I can make that happen. I, I hear that she's in this area. <laughs> and she's so fabulous. I mean, we love her, love her energy, love the person she is. Good old country girl. We're good old, I mean, we're both raised in the country, so we can identify. And she sings about things you can identify with, just like Brandy did.